Hello, it's Annie and welcome back to this mess of a channel. If you were anything like me when I was 10, I was obsessed with covers like from Kurt Hugo Schneider, Pentatonix, AJ Raphael, Jeremy Passion, Tori Kelly. They were literally my heroes, guys. I don't think you understand. Like, not all heroes wear capes. It was literally like a dream of mine when I was younger. I was like, when I grow up, I want to be just like them. I, I want to make covers just like them. No, seriously guys, like I remember for years, I would only listen to cover versions of songs and not the original. And people would be like, oh my God, Annie, have you heard Justin Timberlake's new song, Suit and Tie? Uh, no. I've heard Tori Kelly's version though. Does that, does that count? Anyways, yeah, like my younger self always wondered how covers were made. And if you're in the same position and you want to learn how to record, check out this video first because I cover mics, preamps, how to use a doll like Logic Pro to sync up your video, audio, all that stuff. This is great for beginners if you're learning how to record. But if you guys are curious about the true behind the scenes, like how do I choose my song, what the process is like, how long do I practice, how much I mess up, and all of that jazz, well, you guys are in for a treat because I'll be showing you guys everything, like literally everything I do when I make a cover. Fun fact, actually for this video, I'm going to attempt playing the piano and singing at the same time. I don't know how to play the piano, guys. I usually play the guitar for all of my covers, so this is gonna be fun, challenging myself to learn how to play for the first time and also showing you guys how I record covers. I recently just got a new piano, so I'm excited to try it out and everything. Before we continue, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, Donner, for gifting me this awesome digital piano. Donner, a company well-known for its affordable and feature-rich electric keyboards, has released the newest installment to their piano instrument line, the DDP-80. It's an 88-key, wooden-style digital piano, perfect for experienced and aspiring pianists alike. Just like a real grand piano, it comes with weighted keys and a three-foot pedal for a smooth performance. The piano features an expertly sampled acoustic French grand piano tone that can be played out loud with its built-in speakers or through your smartphone, tablet, or computer via USB. It also includes a headphone jack so you can quietly practice all by yourself without bothering anyone at home. What I love most about this piano is the beautiful vintage wood design that complements and elevates my home. Not only does it sound amazing, it looks phenomenal. Donner aims to inspire artists and equip musical enthusiasts with excellent instruments and online learning resources. The DDP-80 includes access to the Donner Music app, giving players a platform to learn music with all the tools you need. Donner has also teamed up with professors from Berklee College of Music to offer the Donner Berklee Tutor Course Series, a unique set of music courses available free to the public. I'll include links to this piano and Donner resources down below. Hello, we are back. It's a new day, changed clothes, freshened face, and we're gonna try to get this cover done before the sun sets, but most of the time I'm like racing against the sun because it's winter now, and the sun just loves setting at a very unholy time. Like, why is it dark at 4 p.m. already? Worst case scenario, it's dark and we pull out the artificial lights, but that's okay, because they always come in clutch. So, we'll see how this goes. Alrighty, ladies and gents, we are at the piano here. How we're gonna go about choosing the song that we're gonna cover today? Great question. First, be realistic with yourself. Understand your voice, right? What song suits it? And be realistic, guys. Okay, don't lie to yourself. Like, I know I'm not gonna pick a Mariah Carey song. I'm not gonna pick Ariana Grande because I'm not gonna hit those rungs on camera. Miss, you? No. <laughs> You're not gonna do that. You're not gonna, don't fool yourself. So understand what song suits your voice and vibe and what you relate to. For me, it's gonna be Magic by Coldplay because it's such a cute song. I've always loved it and I wanna learn it on the piano. I think it's something that I'm motivated to try, motivated to sing, so let's go with that. And because I don't know how to play it on the piano, what I am doing here is YouTube Magic Coldplay Piano Tutorial. Let's go. All right, so as you can see here, I've searched up um, some tutorials. I'm gonna watch some more, learn a bit of it on the piano right now for the next 30 minutes, and we'll see how that goes. Gotta plug it in first. Call it magic. Broken into... Ah! All right, it's practice time. What we are going through right here is the realization that the song is kind of too high for me. So I'm going to be transposing it down a little bit. And here's a little cheat sheet to transpose because I never bothered to memorize everything. But here we go. Alrighty, I finally figured out what I need to transpose it down to for it to fit my voice. So 
I'm going down a B flat minor, guys. So I'm gonna start on this A flat. Okay, that's enough of practice for now. Usually I would uh, pick a song and practice it earlier in the week, continue to practice it, record it by the end of the week, and then post. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna cut down my practice to just a couple hours, and then I'm just gonna go set up. Um, I have my tripod over there, as you can see, when I get my lights, so let's go. Got a little like this bad boy. I gotta figure out where I want to film first before I plug this in. Alright, since I'm using the camera right here to record the video, I'm gonna just attach my phone onto this little phone attachment thing, attach it to my tripod, and record my cover using the phone. Brings me back to the good old days. Back before I had a camera and I was just doing everything on my phone. Attached. Gotta figure out where I wanna put this tripod. Oh my god. Guys, I don't think you understand what the behind the scenes look like. It looks like me squatting on the couch right now. It looks like me struggling. But I'm gonna have to finesse this and make it work. What am I doing? Okay, final setup. I have my mic here attached to a mic arm that's attached to the edge of my desk. And then that's connected to my audio interface into my laptop and then connecting this MIDI to USB into the piano so that we can record both voice and piano later. Now I have my audio and my piano track ready to go on Logic. All I gotta do is make sure that both of them are on record and there we go. Y'all, that took like 50 million tries. I messed up so much and that took forever because I was like in my head too much, overthinking it. I'm like, oh my God, I pressed the wrong chord. I sang that wrong. My voice is too shaky, blah, blah, blah. But like, it's not serious. Just have fun, you know, enjoy the process. This is what it's all about, right? So I decided to settle with whatever last take I took. But yeah, we're gonna go edit now. We're gonna put the video and the audio together. So I'll show you guys how I do that. Let me just clean this desk up, because what in the flippin' flappin' world? I just listened to my track, added some crossfade to it, and I bounced it out, which now it's ready to go into a video editor like Final Cut Pro or iMovie or whatever it is. And since I recorded the cover on my iPhone, I'm just gonna easily airdrop it. As you can see, it's loading right now. And voila, here's the Final Cut project. Isn't this kind of trippy though? Like you guys just finished watching this part and I'm still editing this video. And I just added my footage that we just recorded and the audio that we bounced out of Logic Pro. And so the best thing about Final Cut is that you can just easily select your clips and then you can synchronize it and it does the work for you. No need to inch through the audio and play it over and over again. It just does the work. And here's our synchronized clip ready to go. I'm just gonna go in, drag it into my timeline and I'm gonna look for where the take is because this is a long take y'all. You see this? There's no audio but here at the very end is the very last take and that's the part that I wanted to keep and so I'm just gonna trim it up. Boop! There we go. Now after all of that is done, all I really do is just go in with the color grading, rewatch the video, make sure it looks okay, make sure that I have my pants on, stuff like that, you know, important stuff. But that's pretty much it. So roll the footage. Call it magic Call it true Call it magic When I'm with you And I just got broken Broken into two So I call it magic 
when I'm with you. And I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't. No, I don't, it's you. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't. When anybody else but you, no, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't. No, I don't, it's true. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't. Want anybody else but you? Anyways, thank you for sticking around, for watching me struggle all day, and of course, letting me show you how I make my covers, and by no means is it perfect, but I love doing it, and it's fun to me, so I hope it inspires you guys to go out there, make your own covers, record whatever the heck you want, and just be yourself, put yourself out there. You know, at the end of the day, it's just fun. Thank you guys again for being here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!